There are many reasons why a person might want to train in martial arts. For adults, some people want to add something a bit more mentally engaging to their workout. Admittedly, that treadmill can be pretty boring, while learning martial arts can keep you engaged and smiling. Some people need a healthy outlet for their daily stress. Hitting a punching bag and learning some cool moves is a great way to disengage the brain from our daily lives and work off some pent-up aggression. Some people feel afraid in our increasingly dangerous society and seek a way to protect themselves aside from using firearms. Learning practical, street-worthy martial arts can help anyone to feel more confident and capable. Some people need to be more self-disciplined to make themselves stop bad habits and to start building good habits. Learning the micro and macro controls of our movements in martial arts transfers over to our mental state as well so that we can more readily practice good self-discipline. Of all of the reasons people train in martial arts, I'd have to say one of the biggest reasons is to become more confident. A child who acts out and misbehaves, back talks and is disrespectful, is really seeking subconscious power. If they had a skill or developed talent, like martial arts, then they would have little need to seek that subconscious power through inappropriate behavior. A young man who wants to learn to fight doesn't really need to fight. I've seen it hundreds of times and know that, in all probability, a situation scared him and made him realize he wasn't as prepared to defend himself as he would like to be. So he decided to start training. What he was really lacking all along is not the ability to defend himself. What he lacked was confidence. A woman, or a man for that matter, in an abusive situation often won't leave even though they can rationalize why it's better for everyone to do so. The reason they won't leave is because they lack the confidence to either stand up for themselves or to believe that they can make it on their own. That career you want to follow, that book that you're going to write someday, that person you want to ask out, that life change you know you should make, none of it happens without confidence. Martial arts training helps to teach people to be more confident. A part of that confidence comes from being able to defend yourself in a variety of situations. Training and striking, grappling, throws and takedowns, and ground fighting can give someone an edge in almost any self-defense situation, almost anywhere in the world. But the confidence that comes from this training stays with a person, not just in back alleys, but also in boardrooms and in classrooms. It's not just about self-defense. It's about knowing yourself. Thanks for listening.